Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna work on some altered bookmarks or some embellished bookmarks. I told you guys I would show you exactly how to make those, so I thought I would get on and show you today how to make them before I get started. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. For all my subscribers, thank you so much for um, watching me and crafting along with me. I love having you here. So, um, oh, and also, if you have not yet, please um, enter in for my 100 subscriber giveaway that's still going on until I reach 100 subscribers. So, um, if you would, go and check out the 100 subscriber video and enter to win some craft supplies and some wonderful goodies. So, we are gonna get started with this. What we're gonna need, let's see, you're gonna need some strips, of course, just strips of craft paper. Um, I have, I've cut these, and this is actually a little bit thicker cardstock, but you can use just regular paper or whatever print so you like. And they can be really any size, um, like maybe two to three inches, or if you want a slimmer um, bookmark, you can do that as well. So we're gonna start off with some scrap paper, and I think I want to use this. Look how pretty this is. It's got some foiling, some gold foiling here with a floral print. And we'll do a striped paper. I don't know, this might be a little too much. Do I wanna do this one? Which one do you guys think looks better? I kinda like, I kinda like the stripes. All right, we'll see. So let's start off with some cardstock, a solid color. And I want to start off with, uh, well, let's just be safe and do pink. It doesn't have to be pink, but I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of, um, I love pink, so you know me. So we're gonna start off with pink, and I actually got another punch to try. And it looks like this. It's almost a floral lace kind of um, print. But we're gonna see how this one looks. We'll just cut, we'll just punch out a, ooh, that's pretty. We'll punch out here. All along the sides. Maybe one more. Ooh, that's nice. How do you like that? So we'll just be safe and let's do a couple colors, a couple different colors. We'll do yellow and green. And so if we like one a little better than the other, we can always switch. Always good to have choices, right? So, how are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is well. I had a few minutes to hop on today, so I thought I would do that while I have a chance. So, okay, so we've cut out. We've punched the red, I'm um, sorry, the pink and the green. We'll try the yellow. Give it a nice, goodness, I hope I'm in frame. I hope you guys can see this. One little space. All right, we'll lay that to the side. And we'll even move these to the side. So on my last video, we made the embellishment strips. And 
I hope you guys enjoyed um, that video. So what I'm gonna do is take some of the embellishment strips that we made in our previous video, and we may use them to go on our bookmark, embellished bookmarks. All right, so we got a lot of things to choose from and a lot of different colors, but the wonderful thing about crafting is nothing has to be perfectly matched and you pretty much go off of what you like, so nothing is written in stone. Aren't you glad, right? So this, um, this little carton here um, carries some, like if I need to go through the house and um, if I'm doing something in another room, I can just pick up a few little small pieces and stick them in this little egg crate and it's wonderful to have. Um, I think I got this from some Easter eggs or something that I got from um, like some decorated eggs from last Easter or something. But I kept the little crate because hey, it's cute and I mean, we can all use one. So here we go. Let's use this, let's use this one as a base. And I have my trusty glue gun ready and it is all icky from glue. Oh, and my other glue stick fell out, so let's put one in there. Hopefully this will work for us. And we're gonna glue all the way down, which I'm gonna end up probably cutting some of this off because this is actually 12 inches long and I don't really need that much. So we're gonna kind of line this up here. So we have two strips and I have fallen in love with that other punch that I showed you guys the other day, the Martha Stewart punch. So I'm gonna take that and punch along. I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna punch along this side, the edge of this paper. Just look how pretty that is. So it kind of looks like this. And then we can add something else. I don't know if I want to add this to the top. Well, first I do know I need to cut this maybe in half because this can pretty much make two because this is extra long. Anyway, we can make the background a little bit longer if you want. Let's see, maybe to here, let's cut that one. I just want one that's a little bit longer. And we're gonna glue along the side of this as well. We're gonna glue that. Make sure the top is even. Don't know why I glued all the way down there, but we can wipe that off. Okay. So it looks like this. Next, we are gonna add you can pretty much add what you want. I'm just trying to kind of eyeball this to see what looks good. Add that one to the top. Hmm. I don't know. I do want to cut this down a little bit though, because it's a little bit too wide. Let's cut this down. And then we're gonna add a topper to it. 
you can make um, a different topper. I'm just gonna, just for time purposes, I'm gonna just use what we made the other day. You guys remember how I did that? I just glued these together and just added a few embellishments to the corner. But anyway, you can just add a topper to that. And before I do that, I did want to show you guys one thing. Um, I keep my um, different ribbons, excuse me, ribbons and stuff on a ring. I have several, several rings of ribbon and fibers and lace and things like that. So that it's easy to get to, I can just like find what I want and just snip off what I want. So let's take these, maybe a little bit of lace. That would be nice. Get some lace. I hope you guys can see me. All right, some lace and maybe one more. Let's see if we can find Hmm, how about some like rope? That's different, right? So, get some rope. And we're going to kind of bundle it up here. Get a nice glob of hot glue. Make sure that it's hot glue because, um, the Fabri-Tac, it works okay, but not as well as hot glue. Once hot glue um, dries, it is pretty much set. So, you got your hot glue. And there's your pieces. And then, we're going to put the topper on. Give me a second to get some of this glue off my fingers. And we will move on. Okay, so now we're gonna add our embellished strip. Move all of our laces and stuff to the side. And we're gonna take that glue and then go across just like that. And then we're gonna put a topper on there and there you have it so just look at how easy and beautiful that is it was really simple to make and this is the one that we made last time and like I said it can go in your journals or even if you're reading a book and you like to look at pretty things you can use it as a bookmark but um yeah so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope you decide to make um, some bookmark embellished bookmarks of your own and if you enjoyed this video please like and share it um and if you have not subscribed yet i would love for you to subscribe and thank you guys for coming back and watching and we will see you soon have a wonderful day bye bye